Hello friends, it is Joel back with you for another video. Today we're going to be looking at Android Wear 5.1.1. It just came to the Moto 360. Pretty excited about it. It adds some extra functionality to the watch as well as uh, some great UI changes. Uh, we're going to look at into some features, uh, what it looks like day to day, and what that means to you. Hey guys, let's take a look. Boom. Say you're at the gym and you are unable to be in Bluetooth distance of your watch, if you're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you're still gonna get your notifications. Wi-Fi connection on your Moto 360 with Android 5.1.1 is easy. Go to your Android Wear app, make sure that Cloud Sync is on. Then you go into your Wi-Fi settings in settings on your watch. You figure out your Wi-Fi, find out where it is, make sure it's connected. Then you do some sweet, sweet opening of it on your uh, phone, put in the code, you are good to go. Thumbs up to that. I'm a big fan of the new UI changes. You can hold down your actionable button here or swipe from the left. This will bring you to a quick actions. Here's your most used apps on the top, followed by some other apps that you have on your watch. And then all you need to do is swipe over to the left and this will add uh, your most used contacts on the top, uh, which is very great and easy to use. You can click on any of these contacts then uh, to be able to send an email, send a text message, uh, or call them. You swipe one more time and you'll be able to see the normal screen that you guys are used to. Uh, Google voice actions, uh, some other quick actions that were on Android Wear before. Another new feature here in your settings is you can go and find the screen lock setting. This is great. It allows that if you take off your watch uh, and leave it somewhere, it will automatically lock. So you can put in a pattern like this, and then the next time when uh, you take off your watch and you just have it sitting around, you're able then to have to put in that pattern. Uh, this adds a little bit of uh, protection on your watch, and then you don't have to worry about it if you set it down for a bit. Along with your normal set replies, you now can do the oh so fun draw emoji action. You can swipe over and see this here. You can draw whatever you want. I'm going to try to draw a coffee cup here. Looks pretty atrocious, but it works. Next, we'll try to do a thumbs up. It's really bad, but Google is recognizing this pretty well. You're not going to send any anatomical things to your friends, just the emojis here. Not like some other smartwatches we know. If you get tired of swiping with your finger all the time, there is added hands-free gestures in this one. If you flick your wrist up, it'll be moving on the UI, or if you can flip down, you do the same. This adds for a quick and effective way to scroll through your cards. One of the last great features that this update brought was always on apps. Say you're going to the grocery store and you need your to-do list to stay on so you can see what you're getting, it can do that. As you can see, I have uh, this to-do list to make an awesome Android Wear 5.1.1 video. Doing it. Uh, it's great also then you can uh, have things, uh, maybe you're at the gym and you have your workout up or on a run and you need to see your stats or um, any other apps can be set to always on, which really helps. And then there's also, uh, it works in ambient mode as well. Um, this really helps uh, save on battery and allows it to be always on. I think that Android 5.1.1 added some great uh, extra features to the Android Wear uh, as a platform. The Wi-Fi connection on the watches that are able to use it really is great. Uh, knowing that you're not going to be just stuck to your Bluetooth range uh, really adds some extra connection to your watch. The, the UI changes, making it quick uh, for those quick actions for your contacts and your favorite apps uh, just makes their overall experience um, much smoother uh, and faster. Uh, the being able to uh, have some quicker responses with emojis and some other things, those are fun extra features. Hands-free scrolling is pretty nice. The always on uh, display for things like keep and maps, uh, these are all features that really added uh, some extra things to Android Wear. I'm looking forward to what Google and Android has for the future. Uh, and this platform is just going to continue to get better. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, check one of these out or one of the other watches uh, that has picked it up recently. Thank you for watching. 
Uh, you guys are incredible. Thanks for the support. And as always, keep it classy.